Okay, hiking up this old mining road right here in front of me. Here's an outcropping. And around this bend, there should be a portal for a mine. Let's go check it out. Well, there's the waste rock pile. And there should be a portal right up here where the road comes up here on top here. And uh, there should be a portal. Let's go check it out and see if it's open. Well, here is a portal with a huge erosion pile in front of it that's come down from this really steep hillside above me. And uh, again, this the rock here is pretty uh, crumbly. See this? And uh, the more solid looking stuff, like this stuff, um, it's not that solid either. You know, it comes off as well. But this, this coarse stuff is really crumbly. Not so much this. Okay, so see right there where my light is? That's the crumbly stuff. And then there's a gap where it's delaminated. And the not so crumbly stuff is underneath it. And there seems to be a band of the not so crumbly stuff right here. And then below that is a band of the crumbly stuff it looks like. And that's what they dug the tunnel through. See that? All crumbly stuff. So let's go in here and check this out. So here's looking into the tunnel. It has a nice uniform round shape. See that? It's pretty uniform, pretty wide. And then uh, it looks to be backfill, but I see, it, I see a little bit of daylight right where my light is there. So there might be a shaft right above this tunnel, higher on the hillside. Let's go check it out. Here's an interesting artifact right inside this tunnel. There's a piece of metal, what looks like what might have been a bucket, and somehow it's been uh, attached to this piece of wood, this really old piece of wood. I don't know if that was... It's supposed to be some kind of a, a shovel or rake. I don't know. Yeah, it's not, there's not a, enough clearance there to get through that. So I'm going to go back outside and go up the hill and see what's above us here. So here's the portal we just came through. Let's go check out that opening that's obviously topside. So that tunnel we were in with the backfill that had daylight continues right there. See, it's got the same rounded shape but it's bisected by this vertical shaft that you can see uh, right there. That's looking straight down into it vertically. And the tunnel we were in is just out of the picture, is right there to the uh, right. You just can't see it from this angle. So it's no go on this one because of that pit in there, that shaft. It doesn't look that deep. I think I can see the bottom, the floor, but Anyway, that tunnel would have continued, like I said, uh, right over there. So here's one of these. Uh, I believe the miners would have used this as a cabin. It's right next to the portal, and uh, they built uh, two walls on each side and used the, the mountain as the back wall. There was probably a front wall here with the door, but looks like it might have collapsed. But yeah, they would have lived in these little these little cabins. Um, probably would have had a had a canvas roof on it, and uh, to keep out the rain and snow. But yeah, pretty cool. Just think these walls have been stacked here. These rocks have been stacked here probably since the 1890s. That's when this area was really active with people looking for gold. So, and they're still standing. Pretty amazing. Well, there's another opening. That's on an incline. By the way, the, uh, the waste rock pile for the supposed prospect is huge. You can't see it because I'm kind of down in a pit, but it's right over that berm. 
and it is huge. So I don't think this is a prospect. It might have started out as that, but then they went down and must have found more. And it looks like they turned to the left down there. So got to come back here with a rope and uh, go down there. Well, I'm hiking, but I got a little bit of a rain shower going on right here. This thunderhead's right above me. Uh, it's blue sky elsewhere. I don't know if you can hear that thunder. It kind of comes and goes. But this rain, there's the thunder. This rain is really refreshing. It's like 98 degrees out here Fahrenheit. And uh, it's been a brutal hike. I'm almost there. And uh, this rain is a blessing.